Hello and welcome back to Circles. Today we're going to be having a look at some more challenging questions. Now these often these questions often um, revolve around a shape that's had perhaps parts of circles or even circles added to them. And it might be a case of finding the area or the perimeter as a result. Or we could even be asked to have a shape, we could be presented with a shape and it's had circles or parts of circles taken out of it, like the one in front of us right now, okay? So we could be asked to find the area here, the area of the shaded region, okay? And in this case, what we've got in front of us is a rectangle. Now, of course, the rectangle here, the area would be 10 by 12. And we've got two semicircles, different ones, different diameters, that have also been taken off that area okay so what i'm really interested in finding first of all knowing the diameter is six is to work is to write down what the radius is so here the radius is three and here the radius is 2.5 okay now in terms of semicircles um the area is going to be pi r squared divided by two, okay? Normally as a full circle would be pi r squared, but we're only looking at, we're only looking at half the circle. And in terms of its uh, circumference, okay? Circumference is usually pi d, but we're going to divide that by two as well if we want to find this arc length here of the semicircle. So going back to the question, we've got 10 by 12, and so we're going to subtract the first one, pi times three squared, that's pi r squared, divided by two, that's the area of this semicircle. And then we're also going to subtract pi times 2.5 squared divided by two. And putting those values very carefully into our calculator, we get 96.0 centimeters squared to three SF, to three significant figures. Okay, when it, com when it comes to the perimeter of this shaded area, okay, we're obviously gonna be looking at half of the circumference in these in the case of these semicircles okay we've got a 10 plus a 12 for these two sides then we've got uh, now we need to think about this if this whole length here is 10 and this diameter is 5 it makes sense that these two lengths here must be equal to 5 okay and if this length here is 12 and this diameter here is 6 and the two lengths on either side of it to make up to 12, what do we have to add onto six to make 12? That must be six as well, okay? These two lengths combined must be equal to six centimeters. And the other thing then that we need to find are the two arc lengths of these semicircles. So the first one is going to be pi times six divided by two. And the second one is going to be pi d pi times five divided by two, okay? So all we need to do now is plug this into our calculator. So 10 plus 12 plus five plus six plus six pi over two or three pi plus five over two pi, um, which equals 50.3, I get 50.3 centimeters. And that's taken into account all the different side lengths, including the two arcs of this shape. Okay, example two, I hope that's okay. Example two, this is a great question, okay, because what you've actually got is, um, you've got two semicircles, I hope you can see. We've got a large semicircle, okay. I could even, I could even use this to demonstrate. So we've got a large semicircle there. Okay, we could shade all that in. Okay, we've got that large one. And we've got a small one that's in there. So if we want to define this shaded part, I hope you realize that we would find the area of the large semicircle and subtract from it the area of the small semicircle. And then adding on to that, that would be adding on to that the um, area of the triangle that's sitting here. Okay, so let's have a go at this, let's have a go. So let's first of all, look at the area of the large semicircle. Now the large semicircle, um, this is four and this is eight. Now 
this eight, the center of there would be the center. So this would be four and four. So I think it's radius here is going to be eight. Okay, yeah, hope you agree with me. And it's a semicircle, so we're going to divide it by two. So yeah, so if you're hopefully following there. So if that's eight, the whole thing is eight, okay? It makes sense that that there would be four. So the radius four plus four would get us to the center there, to the edge, okay? So that would be the area of the red part. Now, the purple smaller semicircle, that's the bit that's been taken off to just leave that strip, that curvy strip. And the radius of that one we can see is four, so that's gonna be pi times four squared divided by two. Okay, so working those two things out, we're going to end up with that lovely sort of rainbow shaped strip. Okay, so let's go for it. What do we get? So we've got 64 over two pi. Okay, so that'd be 32 pi. Subtract 16 pi over two, which is eight pi. So I end up with 24 pi to three significant figures, 75.4. I'm going to keep it exact actually for now because I've got other work to do with it. So it's, it's 24 pi, my calculator is telling me. Okay, let's make that a bit clearer. Um, 24 pi. All right, then I've also got the area of this, um, this triangle here. Okay, so it's base times height divided by two, well it's base is this length is the same as this here, isn't it? So that's the base. So the area here is base times height divided by two, which is eight times three divided by two. Eight times three is 24. So it's 12 um, centimeters squared, and this is this. Okay, so area-wise, if I put, add up those two things, I'm now going to add up this and this, put it all together. So overall area, overall, area is going to be 24 pi plus 12 um, which is going to be uh, which is going to be 87.4 centimeters squared two three significant figures okay now I've got next, um, I've got the task of finding the perimeter of this shape. Now looking at this, this looks like it could be more challenging. Let's have a look. So I need to get rid, I need to be able to see what I'm doing here. I'm going to get rid of some of this color. All right, and I'm going to start labeling some things. So first of all, let's have a look. Um, I've got, now if this is four, Okay, if this is four here, this has to be four as well, doesn't it? Okay, and if that's eight, this looks pretty symmetrical. This would be two, and this would be two. And I've just got these now. Okay, so if that's there, and that's three, I might have to do a bit of Pythagoras theorem here, um, because that would be, yeah, okay, so that would be four across, wouldn't it? Okay, just thinking out loud, that would be four across, and that would be three that way, okay, because that would make eight across, yep, okay. Right, so let's do it. So um, I'm going to have to find, um, I'm going to have to find two half, halves of circumferences for the two, circles they would be if they were full circles right so oops oh i've done it again let's try again let's make some space make some space okay perimeter first of all let's find the, the length of this okay now this would originally be a circle with radius eight we said okay so its diameter if its radius was eight its diameter would be 16 so that'd be pi d pi times 16 divided by two. In the case of this arc here, okay, that would be eight, so we can see at the diameter is eight, so that would be pi times eight divided by two. So we've got this one, 
and we've got this one. We've then got a four here. And then we've then got a two and a two on either side. And so it's now these just these two diagonals that I need to find. And it's three and four. Now actually, that's a really nice Pythagoras problem because if you've got um, three and four, so look, there's the right angle, and you've got the adjacent and the opposite being three and four. Okay, then the hypotenuse, three squared, it's called x, plus four squared is x squared. Nine plus 16 is 25 is x squared, it's equal to five. Okay, so these two are both five. That's five, and that's five. So five plus five, okay? So actually in the end it wasn't too bad, was it? So it was eight pi plus four pi, which is 12 pi, plus, and I've got 18. Okay, so it's gonna be 12 pi plus 18, which equals, 55.7 centimetres. Okay, I hope that was okay. So you can see extra maths knowledge coming in here, always handy. And we've got one last problem. So question three. Now this is a great question. It looks far more difficult than it actually is. Okay, so perhaps you might like to pause the video for a second and see if you can spot. If you've got a good imagination, this is such an easy question. Okay, feel free to pause it and I will continue in a second. Did you spot it? <laughs> okay, so this is nine and this is nine. So if we imagine, this is all about, you know, parts of circles, isn't it? And how these can help us to find the the um, areas and perimeters. Basically, that area there, if you realize that that area there is exactly the same as that area there, and that area there is exactly the same as that area there, then you've pretty much cracked it for the area because imagine that we put that in there and we put that in there. Then really what we've got is just that rectangle and it's eight by 18. So the area is really straightforward to find. The area, if we put these parts of the area back in, perhaps, 8 times 18 equals 144 centimetres squared. Okay, so far so good. Now it's, yeah, I think it's not, it's not so easy for the perimeter, but I think it's still okay. Let's go and do perimeter. Um, so we've got a couple of things already there. We've got um, we've got the this side here, which is eight. Let's get this. So we've got let's do a nice pink. So we've got the eight here. We've got another eight here. Okay, so they're good. Um, then we've got this arc here, which is also equal to this arc here, and this arc here, which is also equal to this arc here. Now the perimeter is going to be equal to eight plus eight. And then imagine that we put these two arcs of semicircles together. It would make the full circumference of that circle, wouldn't it? That's got the diameter of nine centimeters. Yeah, okay. So that plus that equals, that plus that equals the full circumference of that circle with um, a diameter. Oh, sorry, I'm talking about diameters. I'm talking about circumference, nine centimeters. So it's pretty straightforward actually. And you've got two of them. So you've got two circumferences of a circle with nine centimeters in standard diameter. So it's actually two lots of pi d, or you could say 16 plus 18 pi. Yeah, so actually again, not too bad, I hope. It's just about spotting these things. And as you do more questions, you get better at that. So 72.5 is your answer there. 72.5 centimeters. Two, three significant figures. All right, so three fun, challenging questions to make you think. I hope you enjoyed those. That one was particularly fun. Um, the last one looked much more difficult than it was. 
And so good luck.